Alrighty guys, we are now downtown San Antonio, yeah! We are in the bottom level, I know we can also go on the top level there. <clears throat> I know the screen is a little bit dark, but hey, I had to put the filter on there so that way it looks nicer when we get out of this dark area. Here we go, now we're ready out of it. It's pretty smooth sailing through here today. And uh, we just finished uh, dropping our first uh, delivery. Basically it was just one pallet, right? So no big deal. Got her all done. Now we're on our way to Laredo. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So welcome into the show. As I said, even on yesterday's video, it's going to be a busy, busy day today. And and yeah, the, so there you can see downtown. And uh, so now we're uh, pretty much starting to leave downtown, I guess. But yeah, it looks like we still have a little bit of clouds, but at least the big rainstorm has passed. I was looking on the radar this morning and it's all further In east now. Keep to the left on I-10. Yeah, I-10 further. Oh, okay. I guess he's saying I-10, but he means 35. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just Continue watch the this signs. Road for 145 miles. Cause we're going to Laredo, not to Houston. We wanna go to Houston? Then we gotta go I-10. Speed but. warning. All right, speed warning. All right. Turn on the uh, engine brakes so that way we don't go over speed, right? <laughs> well, I guess they got I-10 up here as well, so maybe that's why he's saying that. But anyways, we'll uh, hammer down and see if we can get all our stuff done today, right? All right, guys, I am now outside of San Antonio. And that mile marker 140, that's where that pilot is and that's where that uh, Mexican taco place is supposed to be or burrito place. So uh, we're going to pull in there and see if they're open already. I forgot to tell you guys, the one there uh, across the street from the TA said on the sign that they're open from 6 a.m. Uh, till whatever, uh, Monday through Friday, right? Well, it's Monday today. It and yeah, and they were not open yet this morning, so unfortunately we weren't able to get any kind of burritos over there. So, we're going to go ahead and pull in over here and see if these guys are open today. According to the Google there, it says they're apparently they're open 24-7, which I have a hard time believing that, but we'll see. We'll go in there and find out, right? I'm really hoping that they are open today already. And then we're going to get us a few burritos and put a couple of them in the fridge and we'll have some for later. But yeah, coming up here right here, this exit right here, there's a uh, pilot truck stop right there too. So uh, we'll go in here and see if they're open. I'm really hoping that they will be open. Well, it's New Year's Eve. So yeah, I know it's New Year's Eve. So but we never know. We never know. We never know. But oh well. Go in here and find out. See if they still exist. I don't see them just yet. They used to be right there on the corner. I don't know. Looks like they've disappeared. Are they no longer there? Almost looks like they're no longer there. Oh yeah, that would not be good. Yeah, is there anybody coming? Nope. Yeah, it almost, here. almost looks like they're no longer there. They used to be right here. Oh my. Uh -oh. That's too bad. I guess because of the year. Yeah, they used to be right here. Right here by this light pole. Oh yeah, they've moved out. In a aye, aye, aye. Okay. Take the entrance to the left on I-35 I south. guess no luck with burritos. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I guess we're going to Texas for nothing. <laughs> oh well, we'll just continue straight then, I guess. Well, we're here for the nice weather then, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh well. 
Kind of sucks though. We were really open to get some nice burritos, but that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Well, they're not even there, so. Oh well. Anyways, I've stayed at this pilot before, and that's how I found out that they used to be right there. Oh well, we'll have to find us a new place. Maybe we'll get lucky somewhere yet. In 600 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-35 South. We are now coming into the Loreto area. We're only about One four uh, miles. four miles away from uh, getting to our customers. So, figured I'd show you a little bit on what it looks like over here. Now it's still cloudy, but it's plus 10 degrees Celsius right now, so that's much better than what it is back at home. It's minus 30 pretty much at home, plus the wind chill minus 42 or something like that. So that's crazy, crazy cold compared to what it is over here, but anyways, we're just going to go ahead and go uh, make our second delivery here any minute now, and then we'll hammer down over to our uh, last delivery and hopefully it ain't gonna take too long to get us offloaded over here I'm really hoping it ain't gonna be too much of a wait time here today I'm hoping that just about everybody is still uh, in the holiday mood there I guess and there won't be uh, there won't be too many trucks out here today that's kinda what I'm hoping for but only time will tell, only time will tell. All right, guys, we ran out of luck. <laughs> and, and the part that we ran out of luck with is the uh, GoPro mount here on top fell off again. Son of a gun, you know? It's like, what am I gonna have to do to keep it up there, you know? I already had it on there for a 12 hour period with pressure on it and I cleaned it real good and everything and it's still, Still wouldn't stay up there, so I don't know. Kind of out of out of ideas, kind of. But we got good news, and the good news is, it's not even uh, lunchtime yet, not even 12 o'clock yet, and we are empty. We are officially empty now. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot, actually. So yeah, we. Uh, I've gotten all three of our deliveries done before lunch. That is amazing. I never expected that to happen, but it did. It did. So now we're hammering down. We're going to go down to the TA. And as we went by it earlier, we did see a uh, truck over there, which we believe to be a Mexican truck over there. So with burritos. So hopefully they do have them there look like they were there anyways so we're gonna go down there and uh, have our half an hour break take us a little bit of a lunch break and then we'll head down to Houston yeah all right guys we made us a little bit of a pit stop and look at the beautiful surrounding area up here oh man is it ever gorgeous let me show you guys I'm hoping this camera won't be too dark but we got some nice flowers over here. Oh my, that looks nice. Look at that. Nice green grass. Oh yeah. We uh, even uh, took our big camera out here and we're uh, taking some pictures of some birds and stuff like that too. So anyways, we got to run. We spent a few minutes in here, so we got to run. <laughs> Just made us a little bit of a uh, pit stop, guys. At a rest area, we had to kind of, you know, just stop for a little bit and stretch our legs, right? And go for a little bit of a walk. Walked around in here a little bit. Yeah. Saw a few different birds. Because it's so nice out here, there's still a lot of birds out here, right? So I uh, went and got my camera and took a few pictures. I think we got a couple of them that are pretty decent but now it's time to hit the road again we gotta go we gotta go 
Yeah, I just like that. We had 32 minutes off already. It's like, man, oh man. I know we need to be over in Houston ASAP, right? Oh well. Sometimes you gotta get out and smell the roses, right? And that's what we did. There was actually some flowers out there, so we even took some pictures of them. Oh, only with our phones, but we did. We got a couple of them. Anyhow, we still have 180 miles to go until we get to uh, our pickup in Houston or La Porte, actually. So I'm really hoping that they will still be open, as uh, according to our dispatcher, they're open till 10 tonight. So hopefully they are. So we made ourselves a reservation at a Flying J just down the road from there. So that way we're guaranteed to have a spot. And that's always a good thing, right? <laughs> yeah, anyways, let's get on down the road. All right, guys, it is the next morning, and we got some bad news. I uh, got to my customer last night. We made it there with no problem. And uh, guess what? Guy has us in the dock for a little while. And then he comes out and he says, uh, well, unfortunately we're three boxes short, so we cannot ship because the, the customer wants the full load, so we cannot ship it. So we could not get loaded last night. And so now we're over here uh, at this Flying J. Oh, that's way overexposed. I don't have my filter on because it's <laughs> darker in here, right? So, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna have to put that on if we want to show you guys anything outside but anyways <clears throat> so we uh, we had already made a reservation here yesterday late afternoon anyways because we figured well we are definitely going to make it down to the customer even if it takes a little while to get loaded at least we would have a reservation over here and we would be guaranteed a spot right plus we have internet over here which uh, I'm uploading some videos right now as as I'm speaking to you guys let me show you guys right here you see it's uploading pretty good speeds up here we're uploading some videos and so I figured we'll do a reservation over here which was good that we did because when we got here there was no other spots left even this morning right now there is no spots left hardly any of them anyways a couple of two three of them have finally opened up now but I figured since we're going to be spending all day here now I moved into one of those spots that is not a paid parking lot so that way next night I won't have to pay for a parking spot plus I think the way we park now we got better signal here with the Wi-Fi too so now we have pretty strong internet here and uh, but yeah so now we're screwed we are originally was planning on I uh, don't getting loaded last night and and hammering down uh, the next day right and then we would be home by Thursday we're still drinking some mate here in the morning. And so then I could go out on Saturday again, right? But that's not gonna happen now. Now we may get home on Friday, because if we can get loaded tomorrow morning, it's a possibility we can make it home Friday, but that would, you know, then we're gonna have to push it a little bit, but. Oh well, that's just how it goes in trucking, guys. It really does. It doesn't uh, do you any good getting uh, angry or upset over it. I mean, it's disappointing, don't get me wrong, but we got really, really nice weather down here. It's supposed to go up to 17 degrees Celsius here today yet. So I think we're going to, I don't know what kind of video we're going to have tomorrow, but we're probably going to go for a little walk. Maybe I'm charging up my camera right now for my big camera. Probably get out and there's a lot of birds out there. Maybe you get a few pictures of birds and who knows what all, right? So, let's call it a day. <laughs> right? Yep. So what do we say at the end of the show? Like the video, share it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow our journey here uh, as we uh, show you our daily life, right? And so with that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Hope you guys had a good New Year's. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year's, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow.